Name changes in our LGBTQ communities many times are a sign of regaining power, announcing our arrival, and expressing fully who we are and what we stand for. Changing our name comes at a time when we chose to stand for what we believe in, resistance and liberation. At Sol, we carry the lived experience and wisdom about the best ways to transform the cultures, systems, and institutions that harm our communities. We create chosen community and family to survive and thrive together, tapping into intergenerational resilience to carve a path for the future generations that will follow us. At Sol, we organize our communities bringing more people into the movement for safety, justice, and liberation for all queer and trans people. We organize the world we want to see where gender, sexuality, and identity are no longer policed, medicalized, criminalized, or repressed with violence. B-Seeds formed as SOL, formerly CAVP, encouraged and followed youth leadership in the organization. B-Seeds was founded out of the need for spaces that center the experiences, leadership, expertise, and knowledge of queer and trans youth of color. Our space has always been youth-led and directed because no one better can tell our stories, manifest our healing, and vision our solutions than us. Through the years, B-Seeds created their own legacy by organizing, creating art, building up skills, power, and leadership in order to tell our own life narratives. The name, Branching Seeds of Resistance, comes from a collective thought from our founding members. Since 2009, Bee Seeds has been organizing locally and across Turtle Island. At the start of 2015, Bee Seeds entered into another phase of ourselves. January 26, 2015, marked four months that the 43 students of the Ayotzinapa Normalista School has been disappeared in Mexico. This same day, Denver police profiled and murdered Jesse Hernandez, a 17-year-old queer Mexicana, eldest sibling of five and loved by her community. At the same time, our communities had already lost six trans women of color to state police and hate violence. It was around this time, B Seeds reflected on the resilience of queer people of color worldwide and found inspiration in an old Mexican proverb that read, Trataron de enterarnos, pero no sabían que éramos semillas. They tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. With this proverb, Bee Seeds and our collective en envisions a future where we continue on this humble path of resistance that our ancestors have planted onto us. And with this, Bee Seeds commits to survive, to thrive, and to continue on fighting with love, fire, and light, with the nourishments of our spirits, minds, bodies, and souls. We are buried seeds of resistance and liberation survives within us.